Uh, tonight, although it looks like visibility should be fine, winds are staying up, no issues, there is no fog advisory in place. I don't think we're going to have the issue tomorrow morning, maybe Friday and into the weekend, as the winds will likely diminish. We do have those clearing skies outside right now, high humidity, so all the ingredients are there for fog. The limiting factor would be the wind. At the moment, looking out toward good visibility, temperature is 76 degrees, and check out that wind at Kenner, east at 16. That is definitely strong enough to keep the atmosphere mixed. While all the ingredients are there, you need fairly light winds or almost calm conditions to allow for what is called radiational fog to develop. As long as there's a little bit of a breeze that mixes the atmosphere and prevents the fog. In the 70s outside right now and dew points plenty high, so temperatures only dropping close to the dew points overnight tonight, so only into the 60s as we get the day started. Strong enough winds on the south shore that I think if they do stay up tonight, we shouldn't have the fog issue, but as I said, they will start to settle during the day tomorrow. So Friday morning and into the weekend, we could see that patchy dense fog develop warm and humid throughout the weekend. But if you were hoping for the chilly weather to return, great news for Halloween. Those temperatures are coming way down. Still trying to figure out exactly where those temperatures are going to go as some models have been a little bit more aggressive, bringing it a little bit colder and then others kind of back off. We'll have to wait and see as we do we get closer, but we're going to be watching for some deep upper troughing that's going to bring into very cold air across much of the nation and just a sign of how cold this air mass is. You've got single digits just north of the US Canadian border, teens and 20s already moving into the US, and this is an air mass that is going to spread spread across much of the central and northern United States. So with a cold air mass just to our north, we are in store for a pretty significant temperature drop as we wrap up October and head into November. And the good news is that looks to continue into the start of November. So a high likelihood of those temperatures staying below average and well below average at that. Here's kind of a rough idea of where the temperatures may be on Monday. Still mild for 70s, maybe low 80s models kind of keep changing. Then we start getting into that colder air and it will definitely be cooler or I should say even chilly on Halloween. Also consider the fact that with those temperatures coming down, we are going to have kind of a brisk wind. Now at the moment, the models for Tuesday indicating 50s to maybe getting up to around 60 degrees. So the models have started to trend a little bit colder for Halloween during the day and for the trick or treaters, it will be pretty chilly during the day on Wednesday. Now earlier model set is staying under overcast skies. That would have definitely kept us in the 50s. But if we do see some sunshine as now the models are indicating that could allow those temperatures to get into the 60s. Either way, it's going to be a pretty dramatic temperature drop as we head into the start of next week. By Monday, probably we'll see high temperatures back to near normal and then well below normal Tuesday and Wednesday. So for the trick or treaters, you will definitely want to bundle up as far as rain chances go with this front. Not looking very promising. We'll see an increase in cloud cover and maybe a stray shower. Generally, the rain chances look to be hovering around 20%, so not much. Not that we want to see any rainfall for Halloween, but even afterwards, it does not appear to, as though this front will bring us any rainfall. So we will probably wrap up October, start November dry, but also very chilly. So for the next few days going into the weekend, I know there are some Halloween events for this weekend. Still warm, still muggy.